All right, y'all. So here is the lesson 13 model start. Uh, this is an example from the book that is in chapter seven. Uh, it's about an emergency medical department with patients of different severity, so routine, moderate, severe, and urgent. And they show up at different uh, at different ratios, and they also have different treatment times. So uh, what I'm going to show you is, today is how to build a data table within Simio, and that should help you with referencing different characteristics about each entity type. This is typically more useful than hard coding in the characteristics for each of the entities. And the reason why is uh, one, it's organized, and two, um, if you change information within the data table, like for example, in an experiment, then uh, that will be easier to manage than having to go back in and, and change all of the hard coded uh, references for the entity information. All right, so in order to build a data table, we're going to go to the data tab. So that's up here. You can see there's already a data table in here, but we're going to create this from scratch. Um, so if you can't see add table up here on the left, um, you might have to click on schema. So you might be in the content section. So if you go to schema, add table. All right, so if we're going to add the table, let's change the name to say something useful like uh, patient data two. All right, so I just changed that. You can see that the name changed up here at the top. All right, the first thing that we want to do in terms of creating a field um, is we want to reference the patient type. So we've created four different entities. So let's let's click on the object reference property and the drop down shows. Entity is one of the options. So I click entity. You can see that there is a new field here. Um, let's change the name. So down here on the right under general, we're going to change the underlying name of this column in the table, whereas the display name only changes things visually here. When we reference patient type, we want to be able to reference something that makes sense. Instead of entity instance property one, let's call this patient type. All right. Now, because this is an entity object reference property, when I click on this, there's a little drop down menu. And I can select all of the different uh, entity types. I think it might go urgent and then severe, so I'm just going to rearrange that. And those exist in here because we created four different entity types in our facility. We have four different entity types created. So let's go back to our data table and we're going to add a couple more fields. So let's add in the property drop down, let's add an integer type for priority. Let's change the name to priority. And then here I'm going to use the uh, one, two, three, or to indicate that the severe are the most, uh, the highest priority rather. Okay, let's also uh, use a property type of expression. Expression is what Simio considers to be uh, mathematical formulas. So we'll do this for our <clears throat> polls or draws from random distributions. So I'm going to copy over some of these distributions that we got from the uh, problem description here. So let's say this is called. Uh, service time. And then I'll copy over these. Uh, they happen to be uh, triangular distribution. That just is one that was used in the book, but this could be any uh, expression in general. But because we plan to use this as a service time, we want to make sure that it is a draw from a random distribution. OK, so I have those expressions. I'm also going to add one last uh, property, and that'll be I'll do a real data type because I can. And I'll call this patient mix. The patient mix is the ratio of the patients to one another. So there were 40 percent of the patients were routine. It was 31, 24 and 5. So all this information was given in the problem, but now that I have this information, I can actually reference any of these columns out in the facility view. So let me show you what that looks like. So I go to the facility, talked about uh, service time, for example. If I select the server block down here on the side, you see a processing time. I can actually just reference what we created. So if I type patient data two dot, the autofill here, says, hey, look, you have a couple different fields. Let's 
call this service time, right? So that's what we're referencing. So every time that the server encounters an entity, it will conduct service according to the column service time. But how do we get Simeo to recognize which row we are referencing? Well, how you do that is in the source, in the source, at the very beginning, you reference a row, table row referencing. OK, before creating entities, I want you to reference, in this case, they use the original table, patient data. And what do I want you to do? I want you to reference a row. You could hard code this row if you had separate sources, but because we have one source, this is going to be the formula patient data dot patient mix, which is that column of percentage, and then it's going to run the formula random row, which takes a draw based on the value in each of the rows of patient mix. So meaning uh, 40 percent of the time it should create a routine patient and 5 percent of the time it should create an urgent patient. So you can see that once you create the table, you have the ability to reference the columns and rows outside in the simulation environment. And if you, for example, wanted to update something or add a different patient type, you could just change it here. And then you would not have to change your code at all for this, because as long as there is a field available for processing time, uh, the server will know what to do with it versus having to hard code it. So I hope that was helpful for you guys in terms of creating and using a data table. Um, good luck.